Here is part two of my 35 must have extensions for Firefox. Fair warning, there's a lot of YouTube extensions in this one. Check out part one if you haven't seen it yet. Firefox now has native translations, and while it works fine, Google Translate is still kind of the best option for these things. To Google Translate is an extension that allows you to send text or pages to Google Translate. For example, this article that I'm on, I can right click on the page and send to Google Translate. Or you can select a chunk of text and send that to Google Translate. Feedbro is an extension that you can use to manage all your RSS feeds, articles, and podcasts. When you're on a website such as Ars Technica, simply click the icon, find feeds on the current page, and right from the extension, you can subscribe. When you open up the feeder with a summary of the article, links to the page, and when new articles are posted, you will get notifications at the top along with Windows notifications. For podcasts, simply grab the podcast link or URL, copy it, and you can manually add the feed by clicking on add new feed, paste in the URL, give it a name. I've got podcasts, I've got articles. You can customize the layout of all the posts as well. This view gives you a list of your posts along with a preview page of the article. Stylus is an extension that you can use to override CSS of a website with your own custom CSS. I use it mostly for hiding elements of a page if somehow uBlock Origin doesn't work. But for custom CSS, you can simply select an element, copy the selector, and then at the top here, I'll click on our second website, copy in that selector, and then I can add whatever CSS I want. In this case, I want to hide it, so I'll do display none, save, and now we see the element is completely gone. If you don't know CSS, you can find thousands and thousands of custom user styles from sites like userstyles.world where you can browse through all kinds of user submitted themes and modifications for popular websites. For example, here's a custom dark theme for YouTube that's much darker than the original. Simply find a style that you like, hit install, install style, then go to the website. I got the light theme set up on YouTube right now. I'll go ahead and change this, make sure it's set to device theme, and then apply my style. You notice that this is much darker than the normal dark mode of YouTube. This may be even better. One thing you may want to do as well is set your website appearance to automatic, just in case Firefox overrides the theme. Tamper Monkey is a similar extension, but for custom JavaScript. You can write your own scripts to be run on a site or apply pre-made scripts for sites like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and so on. Once installed, you can create a script or find new scripts. Dashboard shows you all the scripts you have installed where you can update, enable, disable, or edit the script. I've got this high YouTube shorts user script, whereby when I go to YouTube, it completely hides the shorts link along with all the shorts in the feed. So no shorts on YouTube. If you go to find new scripts, you can search for things like YouTube autoplay. And here I have a script that will disable the autoplaying video on channel pages. Firefox Color is an extension and service from Mozilla that lets you create custom Firefox themes. You can select preset themes to modify or create a completely custom, and you can modify just about every aspect of the browser's interface, and it shows you a preview as you modify the theme. You can set colors, frames, icon colors, borders, pop-up, highlighted text, sidebars. You can select backgrounds for the tabs, and when you're done customizing, you can hit Save, and this will save locally to your Firefox browser, or you can export. You can export as a zip or a theme file, and you can submit the theme to the add-on store. Here are all the themes I've made using Firefox Color, and you can set these themes to public or private. This is Theme Scheduler. As the name suggests, it's an extension that lets you schedule the switching of themes based on time of day. For example, you can set a light or dark theme. Maybe you want a dark theme at night and a light theme during the day. You can set the time. Then select what theme you want at night and what theme you want during the day. Then hit save. Pretty straightforward. Read Aloud is a text to speech extension that can be used to read text straight from a website. Once installed, you can simply click on the icon 
and it'll go ahead and read the page for you. You can change the voice, and there are many voices that you can choose from. You can change the speed, pitch, and volume. In addition, you can simply select text and have read aloud read that text only. Orbit is a new extension from Mozilla for Firefox. It's an AI assistant for summarizing content on a web page. It works well on articles and videos. When you're on the page, you will see this little orb in the top right where you can summarize the article, ask Orbit questions, and adjust settings. Click on Summarize, and this will produce a summary of the entire article. You can ask questions, and in settings, you can customize the responses. Maybe you want bullet points or multiple paragraphs or keep it to short sentences. You can choose to always ask to summarize, summarize emails, summarize YouTube videos or emails and YouTube videos. This is so useful for long-winded articles. Bypass Paywall Screen is an extension that you can use to easily bypass news sites and blogs that throw up a paywall while you're in the middle of reading a summary. It's available on GitHub and works on all the popular mainstream news sites. On the website, you can download the version for Firefox, XPI file for Firefox. Click download, not just drag it into Firefox. Hit add, and it opens up a tab where you can see all the sites that it can bypass. And as you can see, there are hundreds of them. Here's an article on The Verge that's paywalled up. I'm gonna go ahead and enable the extension, refresh the page, and now I can read the entire article maybe even summarize it using Orbit. Nice. YouTube doesn't provide the best experience for things like managing your playlist and subscriptions. Fortunately, PocketTube exists. With this extension, you can organize and categorize your favorite channels into groups. Right here, I have a list of all my subscription groups that I created with PocketTube. If I click on them, it shows me videos from all the channels that I've added to the group. I got a group for YTP, philosophy, now, the icons will be displayed here, too. I'm not, not sure why YouTube isn't displaying the channel icons. But under subscription group, you can select a group and add and remove channels from the group. Or you can click only in group to see all the channels in that group. Each group gets their own personal feed where you can filter by update, live, subscribe. You can filter by watched and unwatched, date, video duration. And you can customize the layout of the videos. When you go to a particular channel, you will see this little icon here where you can quickly add that channel to a group. Channels don't need to be subscribed to be added to a group. Return YouTube Dislikes is an extension that does exactly what it says. It returns the YouTube dislike count. Simply installed, click on a video, and you should see the dislikes count. The dislikes count represent all the users that have this extension installed and have disliked the video. So the dislike count won't be exact. Sponsor block is an extension that will automatically skip past annoying parts of videos, such as sponsor segments, fillers, and long intros and outros. You will notice that the progress bar on some videos will have colors in certain spots. By default, the green means a sponsored spot. When you're watching a video, once it hits that spot, it will be completely skipped and it's very seamless. So much so that if you're not paying attention, you won't even notice that you've skipped a segment. Sponsor block can be used to block sponsored segments, self-promotions, or you can show labels on certain spots like exclusive access. My favorite is the filler. When enabled, this will automatically skip fillers and tangents. These segmented spots are all user generated. You can create your own sponsored spots to make sponsor block more accurate for other users. D arrow from the same developer is an extension that replaces clickbaity titles and thumbnails on YouTube. And when you're on YouTube, enable the extension, and notice how the thumbnails change disabled, enabled. So no more clickbait thumbnails and the titles get changed to something less clickbaity and less distracting. Unhook is an extension for YouTube that you can use to hide pretty much every aspect of YouTube that you don't want to see. Once installed, you'll notice that your YouTube feed is completely blank. You go up to the top here, or wherever your extension is saved, you can see everything that you can hide on YouTube. Right now I have the entire feed home feed disabled i'll uncheck that and i can see my videos you can hide the video sidebar so the sidebar here when you're playing a video i'll uncheck that you can hide in screens hide shorts you can hide the comment section so if you don't want to see comments you can hide mixes the top header can be hidden you can hide subscriptions you can disable autoplay and annotations absolutely one of my favorite extensions
YouTube High Definition is an extension that will automatically play videos on YouTube at the highest resolution or whatever resolution you want by default. When installed, if you click on the icon, you can set the video quality. Let's say you have a 4K monitor and you want to see 4K content, select 4K. And if the video has a 4K version, it will be played automatically or the next best resolution. Here's some 4K footage I click on and we'll see automatically the video plays in 4K without me needing to change it. Enhancer for YouTube is an extension that adds a plethora of quality of life improvements to YouTube. When installed and you click on a video, you will see this little toolbar down here that gives you options for looping, increasing the volume, expanding the video, open up in a pop-up player, easily set the speed, turn on video filters, take a screenshot, and if you go to settings, you can customize these buttons, set playback quality for playlists or videos, adjust volume, similar settings to YouTube HD. You can set autoplay options, you can force a video coding or format, modify the mini player. So you can go through here and completely modify your YouTube experience with these options. Another nice feature of this extension is the theme support. So you can completely change the way YouTube looks. Here's an arc theme. You can even customize and use your own color scheme. Here, I've got a dark theme with the blue accent. You notice that the progress bar on YouTube is now blue instead of red. In fact, the text also changes color. BlockTube is an extension that allows you to block specific videos or whole channels and their videos from showing up on your YouTube feed. In the BlockTube settings, you can add filters for video titles, channel names. You can filter by video ID or channel ID. Even comments. If I don't want to see any videos with Apple related content, I can put in all the terms in any videos with these words and it will not show up in my feed or in search results. You can add the channel name or you can grab the channel ID, copy channel ID, paste that in and hit save. And you will not see any of this content on YouTube anymore. And there's some additional options such as blocking the explore page, block auto-generated playlists from YouTube's, and my favorite, when blocking in the context menu, you can automatically have it set to tell YouTube not interested in. It's pretty nice. When you see a video, you can click on the little three dots and you should see block video, which will hide the video, or you can block the entire channel in its video. These next two I'm combining into one because they're both similar and I use them equally the same. Video download helper, and Ant Video Downloader. Now Ant Video Downloader has stopped development since 2023, but still works well in the latest version of Firefox. And on some websites, it's even better than Video Download Helper. These extensions allow you to download videos from various video websites. In the case of Video Download Helper, you can see a list of all the websites that you can download video from. When you're watching a video, simply click on the icon and you should see a list of videos that you can download. In some cases, you can even select a resolution and click download and the video will start downloading. One thing I do want to mention is that both of these extensions have a companion app, which is basically FFmpeg that it uses to download and merge the video segments. For Ant, you can download the native app for Firefox and Video Download Helper will have a little link where you can go and grab the latest version of their download is complete. And I can click on the video and play it in my video player whenever I want. It's pretty nice. One thing to keep in mind is that these extensions will not bypass some newer DRM on some website. Check out my video on downloading videos using FFmpeg if you want to know how to download cryptic video. This is quite possibly one of the most underrated extensions in web browser history. Personal block list, not by Google, is an extension that allows you to block specific websites from showing up in your Google searches. Let's say you search for something on Google and you see a bunch of stock websites like Adobe Stock. You don't want to see that. You can completely hide Adobe stock from showing up in your search results. Here's another one, iStock, just block and it's gone. You will not see any links from that website. Possibly one of the most important extensions and honest to God, one of the most important pieces of software in history is uBlock Origin. uBlock Origin is an extension that you can use to block the tracking of certain websites, block ads, and block specific content of a website that you don't want to see. Here's HuffPost in this ad riddle website. I'll go ahead and enable you block origin with this big button, refresh the page, and no more ads. I can right click the page, go to block element, 
and select various elements of the page and create a filter. In addition, if you click on the icon, click more, you're going to see more buttons like the zapper mode. Click that, highlight a section of the page, click gone. Instant. How about this part? Gone. Clicking on more shows you more detail about what uBlock Origin is doing. In this case, it's blocking all of these websites along with their tracking. Here's the verge using 75% of their screen space for an ad. Let's enable uBlock Origin, refresh the page, gone. In uBlock Origin settings, under My Filters, you can see a list of all the filters that you've created or the things that you've blocked. There's also filter lists, so you can apply preset filters, blocking ads, tracking, and so on. uBlock Origin is also available for Firefox for Android, so you can get your content and ad blocking fixed on mobile. Shout out to Raymond Hill, the developer of this extension, for helping millions avoid ads and annoying content on the web. And those are 35 of my favorite must-have extensions for Firefox.